Today will be the third session on the hymns to Saraswati in the Rig Veda. And I will start as usually with chanting something in relation to what we are doing today. I got also the idea to show the complexity of Saraswati, especially in today's hymn, which is one would say the most universal of all the Saraswati hymns. And I would even say she is the inspirationary stream, but she represents the word. And that word is also the divine thought, which comes in the Veda also, this imagery that is Daivi Indim Di. And there is one hymn by the great seer Vishwamitra, where this divine thought is invoked. And I thought I will start today with a few verses of this hymn. This is Rigveda hymn 39 from the third book. <clears throat> Indram matir rida avachyamana acha patim stomatashta jigati ya jagrivir vidate shasyamana indra yatte jayate viditasya divashchit a purvya jayamana vi jagrivir vidate shasyamana bhadra vastrani arjuna vasana seyamasme sanaja since I don't have the translation with me, I just give the gist of these verses. A thought spoken from the heart and expressed and shaped into a hymn goes to Indra, the divine mind, its Lord. When it is expressed, it remains wakeful in the finding of knowledge. O Divine Mind, acknowledge that which is now born for you. It is ancient, original, supreme, and born from heaven. When it is expressed, it remains wakeful in the knowledge. It dresses itself in happy white, white garments. This thought dresses itself in happy white garments. This, in us, is the ancient born, the original thought of the fathers. The fathers are here, the, the ancient seers, the rishis, who with that thought found the sun in the darkness. And before we come to this main hymn, where we can see very complex and rich imagery.